Kylie Jenner calls out her mom's makeup skills. Kim, Chloe, and Court react to Kylie and Kendall's epic feud. Plus, there might be proof that the Jenner brawl was not scripted for their show. Hey guys, it's Allie for Hollywood Life with your Car Jenner Roundup, starting with Kourtney Kardashian and Addison Rae. Everyone's favorite couple of friends were out and about in good old New York City, literally right down the street from me. Page Six reports Addison was there celebrating her 20th birthday with a few other pals and they hit up the new members only club Zero Bond. A Matt claims that the new hotspot in New York will cost the average member around $3,000 a year and a $500 initiation fee. I know what you're thinking, but 3.5K a year still costs less than parking in New York City for a year. But okay, switching gears to Kendall and Kylie now because there is some tea on the fight no one got to see. Recall in the latest episode of Keeping Up, the sisters got into a heated argument inside an Escalade. Despite cameras being turned off, the sisters had their mic packs on, and we got the sounds of the altercation. But according to Kendall's accounts, the fight seemed to be pretty brutal, as she claimed that Kylie had placed her heel on the model's neck. Well, now Keeping Up is trying to make the most of the situation by having Kim, Chloe, and Courtney react to the drama days later. The trio are concerned for Kylie and Kendall, and Kim in particular could see Kendall was very shaken by the whole ordeal, considering she suffers with anxiety. The sisters are also worried about their momager, who is having a hard time processing the incident. Especially when you consider that Chris was the one who suggested a family trip after witnessing Kim and Courtney's brawl air on Keeping Up. You know she's Ooh. bad when the show's mastermind questions if the show's gone too far. But okay, adding to this, some eagle-eyed fans figured out when this whole thing happened. Fans cross-referenced paparazzi photos of the family that were dated around early March right before lockdown started to happen during the pandemic. The reason why this sort of matters is because on March 22nd, there was an interaction between Kylie and Kendall on Instagram that seemed very cheeky at the time, but has now turned out to be pretty awkward. Kylie posted a photo of herself and Kendall and the model commented, aren't we fighting? Clearly referencing to what we all saw on last week's episode. Kylie then replied to Kendall saying, yes, but my <laughs> are sitting nice on this pic. Hopefully they patched things up by now. I wish these two the breath. I mean, God, best. But okay, one more Kylie story, sorry. Let's talk about the Lip Kit Mogul's latest YouTube video with Kris Jenner. The beauty billionaire had her momager put makeup on her. However, at the start of the video, Kylie makes it known that she's not totally on board with the video concept by telling her mom, not that you're not good at makeup, just you're not my vibe. If I ever told my mom she was not my vibe, she'd snap me harder than Thanos. However, Chris then begins to agree with Kylie by the end of the video and even compares her lipstick application skills to that of Stormy's. Does Stormy normally make Kylie look like Donald Trump? Oof. I've said too much. Okay then, make sure you guys have hit the sub like and bell button. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Ali Stagnita and stick with us for all the latest. Bye guys.